Thanks for watching the video. So, today I kind of screwed things up. Um, last night ended up doing a 20 kilometer gravel bike ride with uh, my wife, Shara. And originally we had planned for 30, but uh, we both got out there and didn't 100% feel it. We ended up deciding to go 10 kilometers out, 10 kilometers back. Um, I had pre-arranged to uh, do a bike ride with uh, another friend, Nathan, on Friday, initially. <laughs> and then this morning, he uh, ended up sending me a text saying, Hey, could, do you mind if we meet at 5.15 and not 5 o'clock? I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. And it wasn't until my wife said to me, um, If he's changing the time, maybe he doesn't mean tomorrow. Maybe he means today. And kind of had one of those oh shit moments. And took a look back and he's like, yeah, Thursday. So after doing the 20 kilometer bike ride yesterday, he wanted to do uh, a trail today that I knew was going to be a lot of climbing and I knew it was going to kill me. Um, but hey, you know what? <laughs> like I usually say, only live once, right? Um, ended up meeting him today about uh, 515 with one of his buddies and we did the trail. Now this trail, um, let me just go to that. So here's the trail here. And we ended up doing 9.38 kilometers with 146 meters of elevation gain, which for me is pretty extreme. Um, not, definitely not something I'm used to and uh, my limitations are not necessarily muscle related. My limitations at this point are more respiratory limitations. So lung capacity. Um, if you've watched the videos, you've noticed that uh, you can hear me breathing pretty hard on the trail rides and this one's no different. Uh, so we ended up doing 9.38 kilometers in about an hour and 19 minutes. Our actual movement time is quite a bit uh, slower than that because we had to take breaks for me to basically uh, restore my breathing back to a normal rate or semi-normal. Uh, we only did 7.1 kilometers per hour average speed, but again, a lot of it was hill climbs. A lot of the hill climbs were slow, or in my case, I was walking some of it. Um, general impressions, I was happy with being able to complete the ride, and I was happy with my ability even after doing the 20 kilometers last night. But I am extremely hard on myself, so no matter how well I actually do, I am very critical of, uh, of my abilities. And I know it will get better with time. I know, like I've seen the difference, but it still doesn't change much for me. I still want to give it 100% all the time. So here you can see the elevation gains, and there's a lot of ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. And then at the very end, there's a nice, uh, there's a nice downhill section with a lot of uh, berms. Um, just to give you an idea, this trail is, I believe, uh, I have to check uh, Trail Forks, but it's called the Hickley uh, Trails. It's just south. Normally, um, we ride. If we go into this area, it's the Midhurst Trails that we tend to ride, which is at the school board on uh, Highway 26, which uh, is kind of the continuation of Bayfield. Um, this is just a little bit south of that. The Simcoe County Museum is here. There's also a little trail that kind of goes around the museum, and that technically links into uh, these trails here. So these trails are very hilly, uh, a lot of single tracks, not a lot of hiking track, so uh, not a lot of hikers in the area, but there is quite a bit of bikers. I think we ran into about uh, 15 or 20 other bikers out there. So there is a little bit of that, you know, moving off the trail for the faster guys or uh, and vice versa for us when we were coming through, because um, there was a couple times we were faster. But uh, what we have here, so we've looked at the elevation. Speed-wise, I mean, you kind of top out at about 20 kilometers an hour sent down some of these hills. Uh, nice berms that you're able to keep your speed up, so that's very, very nice. Heart rate-wise, I was at 146 beats per minute, which is um, pretty high lately. I mean, as I, I said in my last video, uh, my average heart rate is dropping on these harder rides, which means I am getting better. Um, temperature, today's ride, we're sitting at an average about 16 kilometers, or sorry, 16 degrees Celsius. Um, this is the part that's the interesting part. So uh, aerobic, which is uh, a lot of what I'm trying to work on, highly impacting, that's great. 
anaerobic, muscle development, things like that, 2.3 maintaining. So it tells me here that I gained or I burned 994 calories, which is decent. I'm very happy with that. Maximum heart rate, 169. It's funny, um, when I first started riding, uh, it didn't take long for my heart rate to get up to about the 180 mark. Now that I've been riding for a while, it's hard to kind of get it in the 170 mark or the 175 mark. Um, the last few rides uh, have also been around that. Uh, total time was an hour and 19 minutes before I turned off the computer. Uh, there was a little bit of time back of the car where we may have had a beer, but uh, I didn't turn off the, the system then. We were riding for a total of 40, almost 49 minutes for this ride. So overall, it was a good ride. It was a very good ride. Um, but I still think I can still do better if I push myself a little harder. Uh, funny, at the end, I ended up, uh, you know, after a lot of convincing, I've agreed to do uh, Horseshoe for the first time on Saturday. So we're going to be doing Horseshoe Valley uh, downhill on Saturday. And we're going to do a variation of uh, pretty much all the trails that are there from the the greens, the blues, the blacks, and the double blacks, apparently. Um, we'll see what my comfort level is and what my endurance is. Luckily, you know, no uphill battles or anything like that, but uh, a lot of downhill and the downhill are really, really hard on the shoulders, um, shoulders, arms, that kind of thing. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. I'll play some of the video of the trail itself and you can see for yourself. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, it's definitely not a race with me in it.
day of recovery. Hello again. was gonna eat me.
Cause We're at the halfway mark. <laughs> 420 zone apparently. The Oro Rail Trail, there's a there's a couple of fields, a pot. Change I didn't do.
Gossip, blah, blah, blah. 